All right, got something in the mail today. I got some uh, edge card connectors, quantity 10. <laughs> Smallest amount I could find. Um, and these are, get one out here, oops. They're just stuck together. Uh, these are actually PC board mount. And I believe, uh, let's get a ruler out here. I believe they are tenth centers, yeah, a hundred uh, point one zero zero inch, um, and they are uh, thirteen by two, so twenty six position. They should go on this one here. Ugh, perfect, excellent. Uh, so we'll be able to put this onto a PC board since it's on 100 mil centers. And um, also found one for this uh, connector here, so that's on order too. So uh, we'll be able to hook up parallel ports and serial ports uh, onto the board. So that will be of great help. I won't have to actually solder wires onto the board. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'll get a connector for this end just to put the power on. Uh, I think I'll hardwire the power on, uh, just so I won't make any more mistakes about 24 volts going in the wrong spot. Um, I do have a, um, a dedicated uh, supply coming that's plus 5 and plus and minus 12, and I'll hardwire that into the board with, uh, with a hard, hard cable. And so uh, it will always get its own supply, and it won't get uh, hooked up backwards, and it won't get over-voltaged, uh, so that will be good. And uh, the, the uh, plus 12... Uh, or the uh, minus 12 gets turned into minus 5 with this uh, little add-on circuit here. So we'll leave that in place. I put some heat shrink tubing on, on it to keep it from shorting out anything. There's a, a metal crystal under here, so I don't want it, don't want it shorting out. And um, so we will be replacing probably these two chips, the uh, clock chip and the um, 8080. Those have uh, plus 12 going to them, and they may have uh, fried... There's another uh, couple chips that may have fried uh, up here in the uh, RS-232 section. There's a, uh, a 1488 and a 1489. I think the f one of them I don't think has plus 12, but I think the other one does have plus 12. Um, so we may have to replace that as well, but I think those will be easy to get a hold of. Um, but for Lucky, maybe those are kind of analog-y type chips and they, they could handle the high voltage. Um, uh, but we shall see. Um, but I don't think any other of the chips are using 12 volts, so we're, uh, we're in good shape there. Um, uh, like I said, I have some, uh, uh, 2732s on order, um, that are UV erasable, and then I found some 20, what are they called, 2832s or something, uh, that are electrically erasable, um, that have the same pinout, um, and so we can try those two out here. Um, I'm, I'm okay doing the UV erasing if I have to, um, but uh, it'd be nice to have the electrically erasable ones. It makes it easier. And uh, the other thing I ordered, uh, which I thought I had, and I looked all over the garage, and once again I can't find anything in the garage because there's just too much stuff, um, is a wire wrap tool. Um, I used to have one. I remember having it. I don't remember if I just had it at work and I never took it home. Um, uh, but uh, a little 30 gauge wire wrap tool. A lot of the uh, uh, jumpers here are done with wire, uh, 30 gauge wire wrap. Some of them have little uh, plastic jumpers on them, uh, little headers, um, but it'd be nice to be able to uh, be able to move some of these wires around, wires around if I need it. Um, so, once we get the um, parts up and running again, my next goal will be to get the clock generation working. So the uh, uh, RS-232 is, uh, is done with an 8251, but it needs to have clock rate generation. It needs to has, have a baud rate clock. Sometimes those are developed from the um, uh, crystal, uh, the, the master oscillator frequency, and then divided down. We've seen that before on some of the boards, the 8085 board and one of the Z80 boards uh, sort of did that thing. 
Um, the way that this board works is it has an 8253 timer chip. So it has a, a, a three, three output timer chip and you can program the timer chip to the correct baud rate and then that gets fed into the uh, receive and transmit clock of the uh, 8251. So my very next goal will be to get the uh, clock actually outputting to the correct frequency um, on the uh, on the timer chip. So that'll be the that'll be the next uh, goal uh, once we get the board up and running again, which should be pretty soon.